This tutorial will show you how to submit an assignment on TaskStream. We'll begin at our homepage, www.spcc.edu. From here, we'll type in www.taskstream.com. Once on TaskStream's homepage, we'll enter our username, and password. Often people forget their passwords or usernames and that's okay. There's a forgot password tab directly underneath. Or if you've never seen this site before or it's been a while, you might need to create or renew your account. We'll log in. From here, we want to enroll in a psychology class, which is not yet listed. We'll need to enter the code. We see it's not listed, so we'll go to enter program code and enter the word psychology. We've obtained this program code from our professor. They're often found either on Moodle or by talking to your professor. From here, we'll search. This is the correct program. It's the psychology portfolio. So all we need to do is enroll. We'd like to begin working on our new program right away to get that paper uploaded. We will be enrolled in Psychology 241. We need to upload our written communication paper. So that's the option we'll choose. From here, we'll choose to upload an attachment. On other classes, there will be other options such as videos, but for the purposes of this class, it's just an attachment. We'll browse for our file like we would on any other site such as Moodle and find our file. Here's mine, my fake psychology paper. And I will save and return. Here I see that I have the correct file and the light bulb is telling me don't forget to submit. So click submit work. I choose my professor from here. I have Diana Presley this semester. I'll choose Miss Presley and submit for evaluation. I have the option of sending her comments. Most of the time, you do not need to send your teacher comments. However, I'm letting her know this is a test. And I see a time and date stamp, as well as I see that I did, in fact, send it to Miss Presley. So I can simply close the window. If I want to double check it, I'll scroll down and see the time and date stamp again. If I'm happy, I'm done. I can log out. However, if I realize oh, I've uploaded it to the wrong spot or I have the wrong assignment, I can cancel the submission. This enables me to either upload the correct assignment or put it in the correct place. Yes, I want to undo my submission and unlock my work. If I scroll down and double check it, I see that I can still edit my work. Well, that isn't what I want. So I'm going to go to work. And here I see my paper. If it's the wrong one or it's the wrong class, I'll click delete selection. And yes, I'll delete it. I can begin from the beginning. Don't forget to log out. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you need further assistance, please contact your teacher or stop into the library.